We're going to uh, talk with John from San Francisco, California. KFAX is the station. Hi, John. How are you? Oh, well, that's kind of, uh, if I was fine, I wouldn't be calling, right? Yes, that's true. Yeah. Tell us, uh, ask us a question. You're our final caller uh, on this okay. program. So I do want to get give you an answer. I am trying to work through a grieving process, some information that I received. I was wondering if you can help me with possibly a next step. Okay. Okay. Uh, a month ago, I heard from my sister-in-law that my parents only wanted one child. Okay. Because of the possibility of a loss, they wanted to have a second or third child as a backup. Okay. I am the second child. All right. Mm. Okay. Your brother is third. Okay. All right. Okay. Can you say the first part again? A month ago, you heard from whom? My sister-in-law. Your sister-in-law. That you're you're the backup that, that in his case. Parents only wanted one child. Oh, they didn't want so you. He's, they he's wanted backup. your brother. Correct. Okay. Older brother. Older brother. Yeah. Okay. And and, and did why that? Why would she uh, tell you that? Did yeah. Well, first, did that okay. play out in your? in your life? Did you feel unwanted from them? I was going to say yes. My, my mother was extremely aggressive and domineering. My mother, my father was passive. Mm -hmm. um, my father died in December 2008 at the age of 91. Okay. My mother died two months later. Okay. John? Yes. Your parents didn't not want you. Two negatives there. Your parents didn't not want John, the guy I'm talking to right now. Okay. They didn't want the concept of a child. A child. That's what they didn't want. They didn't want a child. Then John came along. Mm -hmm. And I would hate for you to color the entire relationship with your parents based on something that they were thinking as very young and immature prior to having prior to having mm -hmm. john and in fact they might not have wanted the child you were when you were one or two but you at one or two weren't john the guy i'm talking to right now do you understand what i'm getting at i do it wasn't personal when they said i don't think we want to have another child but let's have a child for a backup then right. then mm -hmm. john came <laughs> Well, and, and then they, they went on to have a third. And, so. and you, they might have only wanted one child. God wanted three children for them. Yeah. And I partly I am under the understanding of Scripture that uh, Psalms 139, that God knew me before I was created, and I was created in my mother's womb, and I was intimately made. And so yeah. I am not unwanted by God. Okay. Well, and, uh, and I, now I just wonder, I, don't, I doubt that you're unwanted by your parents either couple other things. One is that when I was young, my mother used to play a song for me that our link had recorded. And the song was, I guess I'll have to learn to be a slowpoke like my little slowpoke. John? So whenever, yes. Okay. We don't have a lot of time, but I, I tell you, you can you can go down the path you're going down and it will uh -huh. keep you down that path and yeah. you will destroy your life and you will be miserable. Is there a question that, that you have for us that we can specifically answer? Um, I guess my questions are in two areas. I'm working through the grieving process of bad relationships throughout the years with my parents. That's and a I'll more workable we issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can handle that. So what's okay. the question? Uh, and the second one is my younger brother, who is more uh, struggling in anger and wants to become a hermit and withdrawing from his second wife. So it's it's a combination of I'm looking for some guidelines as to what areas I can work look at and uh, to find some support just in the grieving process. Okay, what is Absolutely. your mo what is your mom said about this? My mother is dead. And your father's dead also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they died in 08. In 08, okay, got two it. months apart. Okay, I just thought that father died. All right, can you forgive those two people for the place they were around the time you were born? I think I can. And I say that because in October of 2008, when I went back to see my father and mother, 
because I knew my dad was possibly going to die. Mm-hmm. He said he was 91. He was possibly going to go into a coma, was not doing well. When I walked in the room and said hi and gave him a hug, it was the first time ever in my life that he says, I love you. Well, that, that ought to tell you something right there. I, I, I want to I also be sure you, you know that if your parents had said, we cannot wait for this ch- second child to come, that you still would have had issues with your parents. Yeah, I don't yep. think it's tied to. I think there's a lot of grief now that yeah. they're gone in the relationship ongoing with them. But yeah. I don't think it's tied to whether they wanted a second child or not. So our that, our that doesn't explain it. Our best hope is forgiveness, uh, well, acceptance, well, and healing. Getting he- in the process think about of working it, through. I, I just want to kind of um, uh, make this about all of us. Yeah. Okay. The Bible tells a story, and the story is that we all came from a dysfunctional family. It's called the family of Adam, and this human line of screwed up people, right? And so what it says is that nobody got in that dysfunctional family of this fallen human race. Nobody got everything they needed. Mm -hmm. And then we Mm -hmm. didn't even use what was given to us very Mm -hmm. well either because we rebelled against it. So what God does is he comes and he says, all right, let's just scrap the whole thing. (laughs) He doesn't say let's rehab you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say let's fix you up. He he says, level (laughs) it, level Mm -hmm. it, crucify the old life, and you're going to be born again. Now, that is starting from scratch. Yeah. So then you're put in a new family, your spiritual family, and in that family, you've got to become a baby, and you've got to learn how to do what a baby does, to trust people, to invest in them emotionally, to be vulnerable with them, to get securely mm-hmm. attached to them. Mm. Then you got to learn what the word no means, like a toddler. And you got to respect no, and you got to say no. Then you got to learn to fall down and screw it up and be forgiven and overcome your mistakes. And then you got to grasp your talents, and you got to go out there and be encouraged and held accountable for producing something in life. But you do that in the context of a family that you get from new moms and dads and brothers and sisters, as Jesus said, who are my mother and brothers and sisters, but those who do the desire of God. Mm-hmm. And so... What he's got to do is what all of us have got to do is mm. is realize we got to be born again, start over in a good community and grow up and get your tummy full of all the stuff that they didn't give you and you'll have a nice life. Yeah. But the key, as you said, Steve, is you can't do that if you're, if you're tethered in unforgiveness yeah. to the ones that did you wrong. And a good jump start to get that direction going would be New Life Weekend. So uh, I'm hoping and praying that uh, you might think about that. But, John, I'm, I'm glad you called. There are a lot of people that are holding on to something way back when. They personalize it, and it really wasn't a, a personal Or, or looking for something to make sense of their whole lives. Yeah, yeah and we yeah. need that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our, <laughs> my parents were um, well into midlife when I was born. I was an oops. And, um, and that explains it. Yeah, that explains <laughs> a lot, right? But but I remember when I got old enough to sort of figure this out. Who has kids at that age? You know, me and, and I mean <laughs> Steve. But but I said to my dad one day, I said I wasn't planned, was I? And he goes, Well, look at it this way. We tried to make the most of our mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> but there, and we just had a great yeah. laugh yeah, about yeah, it. You know, juicy. yeah. It oh was my so goodness. funny. I hate it when families don't have humor <laughs> like that. We sure had it in our home.